Hello artists and arts organizations. Uh, welcome to your new online registry with Southwest Minnesota Arts Council. In this video, we'll walk through the steps you'll take to add your information and art to your page. <clears throat> so first, you're going to navigate to the registry landing page. So for this one, we'll just go to artists and um, and click the button for member sign in and then you're going to enter your username and password and click log in okay and that is going to take you to the back end of your web gallery so this is what you're going to see when you get into the back end the first thing you're going to do is over here on the left hand side, you're going to go to the profile area by clicking profile in this left sidebar. Here you're going to see um, the, some of the information that you entered when you registered, um, like your name um, and your username, things like that. Um, and then there are some areas where you can add additional information that's going to appear on your page, such as your website, some biographical information. You can um, change your password here. Um, and then there are some boxes here. If you want your website to be shown publicly, you can click that box. If you want your email address to be shown publicly, you can click that box. Um, here's an area for you to enter a profile image. Um, we've got a recommended size of 190 by 215 pixels. That's going to give the optimum um, crop to your picture. If it's larger than that, um, that's okay. It's ju it just might crop a little differently. Um, but this is just our recommended size. Um, and so in order to um, add a, a profile image, and this can be a picture of you, it can be a picture of your art, um, whatever you want. Um, here you will click Add Image. That will take you to your media library. You'll click Upload Files. And here you'll drag and drop um, a picture from your website, or you'll click this select files and that'll take you to um, your computer where you can find navigate to find the file. Once you find um, the picture, you'll click upload. It'll appear in your media library. You'll click on that picture and then click select. And then that'll be your profile image. Um, you can put an artist statement here. Um, your county will appear here. Um, again, you can choose if you want your address to be visible to the public, if you want your phone number to be visible, any of this information, your hours. Um, if you have a, a, a gallery or something that you want to show publicly, you can put hours in there. Um, and then down here, there are click boxes to show the discipline or services that are related to your art um, so that the user then can kind of go through um, and look at the kind of art they want to look at. So you'll choose the ones that correspond to your art and then you'll click update profile. Once you've done that, um, you will add information to your portfolio. So on the left sidebar here, it says artist portfolio items. In the, in the arts organization section, it says arts organization portfolio items. Here is where um, you will add items. So you'll click this button that says Add New. You'll enter a title for your piece along with a description, 
the year the piece was created, the price if it's for sale, and the type of piece that you're uploading. So if it's an image, an audio file, a video file, or a literature, um, which would have to be a PDF file. Um, files need to be under two megabytes in size, so need to be optimized for the web. If you're adding an image, um, you will use this area here to set the featured image. Um, you'll click that. It will bring you again to your media library. If you need to upload a file, you'll click here, drag and drop or select the file. Um, then you'll choose that file in your library and set featured image. Yeah. If you're using an audio, there will be a little button here that says add file. So you'll click on that, you'll find your audio file and you'll upload that. Um, and for video and for, um, for literature as well. For video, um, your, your video needs to be housed on a YouTube channel of your own and you will add the link here. Your video will embed in this uh, page um, but it needs to be, videos are too big to be housed on this website. So it needs to be on your own YouTube page and then you'll add the link in and, and add it to your gallery if you want to add video. So now you'll scroll down and you'll choose the discipline or service that corresponds to this item. So if it's a painting or a drawing, you'll check that box so that the user can um, look at your gallery and in the categories that they want to look at. Um, so when this is all filled out and you have it the way you want it, you're going to click, you're going to go over here and click this publish button. Um, you can go in and edit your items at any time by just clicking on them in the list. If you want to change what it says in here, if you want to change a discipline, um, change a dollar amount, you can edit this or put it, put a new picture in. You can do that. Once you're done editing an item, click the update button. If you want to delete an item from your portfolio, simply hover over and click the trash button, but be sure you want to do this because you won't be able to restore it once you delete it. When you're finished loading or editing your gallery, you'll log out by hovering over your name in the upper right corner and choose log out. And that's all there is to it. Have fun loading your gallery. Thanks.